www.sportsfergus.com and this is the Biomax 600 from Platinum LED Therapy Lights. I'm going to review it today. I have done a preview video, an unboxing, first impressions video. Um, you can check that out if you haven't already. Uh, it's been a couple of months since I did that preview video and I've been using this device most days now um, and also have been doing a lot of testing, playing around with it, looking into the specs, etc. Uh, and so yeah, now I want to bring you a, a comprehensive review and my thoughts on this device. Real quick, if you don't want to watch the whole video, I highly recommend this panel. In fact, it's now my go-to panel. Uh, my wife is using it, I'm using it, and I will probably get another one or two or three since it has got the modular design and uh, fit out a whole body panel for, for my family. Um, it's really, really good. Power-wise, amazing. Absolutely no EMF issues, which is great. Um, price is awesome, especially uh, I've got a discount code. It's Alex A L E X that saves you, uh, I think, five percent. So that brings price down really good. They've got awesome uh, shipping options and shipping channels. So it's free shipping in the states, for instance. They they ship out of the U.S. and Europe. So you know you're not waiting. If you live outside of America, you're not waiting huge amount of time to get this panel. Uh, Built-in little timer over here, which I'll show you sh show you soon. Um, options to alternate between the red light and the infrared or of course have both running which is what I was just doing before uh, and they go beyond the standard 660 and 850 nanometers which is becoming like a gold standard in the red light therapy space so they still have those uh, wavelengths but they've also got a few others which we're gonna look at soon I'll, I'll, I'll use this uh, spectrometer I've got and um, we'll see exactly what wavelength this thing is emitting so yeah like I said very impressed highly recommend it great price point um all around just ticks all the boxes it is still more of the premium product given this is their biomax range uh it is their 2.0 second generation range with a few more bells and whistles updated or upgraded um internals so that's why there's absolutely no emf which is crazy actually um i couldn't believe it when i tested it but yeah so it is a little bit more pricier than their standard bio series bio series range so for instance the bio 600 same size as this um only does 660 and 850 nanometers uh you don't have the built-in controls you don't have the advanced internal so there might be a little bit higher uh, emf levels and um you don't have the modular design as well but of course it's a cheaper price point anyway so i thought i'd run down run through a few things with you today um test its sound test the Wavelengths, uh, test the EMF reading. I do want to test the power radiance as well because I do have a meter for that, but there have been some problems with that which we'll get to soon. Um, and I will go through everything that's included with this device. So let's start with the size of the panel. This, the Biomax 600, is what's known as a body panel. Okay, you may have seen the smaller target panels like the Juve Go and the Red Light Rising uh, handheld device. This is obviously a panel, it's meant to hang on the wall or you can get a frame for it and it's meant to treat a large portion if not all of the body. It's not the biggest panel that Platinum LED do, they actually have one that is the same height, I don't know if you can see the bottom of this here, I'll just lift it up slightly. It's the same height as this one but it's slightly wider, alright so you get a few more uh, LEDs on there, of course that's going to mean a much bigger treatment area. Personally, in hindsight, I think the 900 series Biomax 900 would have been a better option than the 600. Yes, it is a couple hundred dollars more expensive, but I think the benefits you're going to get if you're using this every day like I am um, are going to be worth it. Though, it's important to remember, even though the panel is, I don't know how wide that is, I mean 20, 25 centimeters, the treatment area is actually wider than that because the light does come out on an angle. And the further away you stand, the wider that treatment area is. And this is a good thing about the Platinum range, the Biomax Platinum range as well. They have very, very high powered LEDs. So you can stand further away from the panel and still get a very good dosage. Unlike some other companies which have more, well, less, <laughs> less powered LEDs, meaning you have to be closer to the panel, which means you miss out on that wider treatment area. And it also means the closer to the panel you are, the more exposed you're going to be to the sound and also the EMF issues, which is one thing we'll look at with this. So from a size point of view, it is again their body panel, but it's not the biggest one. 
Um, it does have the modular setup though, so you can add on more to this. I think for me, since I have this now, my next choice or next step will be to get another one and clip it on side and then maybe one or two below. Eventually you have all four, which would be pretty cool. Alternative, alternatively though, you could get the 900 series, the wider one, and then stick, just get two 900 series for instance and have them top and bottom and then you've got a pretty good treatment area for, for, for your front and then back. The ultimate though I think is to do that on one side and then off to the side here you have another one or two panels so you get in front or front or back and then one side and then you flip around and do the same and that cuts down treatment time drastically. Um, so let's now look at the wavelengths and the power. For that, I'm going to get my spectrometer device. Alright, so here I've got my spectrometer device from Hopo Color Technology. Um, cost me a lot of money to get this and um, I'm still trying to figure it all out. But it's very, very cool. What I can do with this device now is I can put this up to any light source and see the breakdown of light. Let me show you. I'll just use it in the room here, which is mainly um, natural light from outside plus a light bulb's on. And you can see, oh, there's not too much glare there, you can see the wavelengths, you can see the peak wavelength, which in this case is 750 nanometers, you can see the flicker, you can see the power radiance, and all that other cool stuff. So what I'm going to use, or what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to use this device, I'm going to turn this on, and we're going to test the peak wavelengths, the full breakdown of wavelengths to see what this panel is emitting because platinum LED actually have a patent pending um, wavelength formula, blend, I don't know what you, what you call it, I mean the wavelengths are everywhere in the sun and whatnot but their, their pattern, their formula, their mix um, is patent pending so they don't reveal what's in it. We do know though the 660 and 850 are included in there but we don't know those other particular numbers so we can actually get a pretty good look as to what's going on here. Um, we will also be able to see the power irradiance, the power output. Now I want to mention one thing because I thought this would be the ultimate device and be able to compare all these panels and see which one is the best in terms of the power and performance and then do some cool calculations and work out you know which one is going to be the cheapest based on you know dollars per power output right unfortunately i'm not getting the best results with it there's just too much variability at one point i'll get 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared and then another time i'm getting 300 and then drops down to 40. it's literally all over the place and for that reason i just can't trust the data which is a shame because i wanted to do some really cool stuff with it uh, again though, I'm still figuring out this device, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I'm trying to keep all the var variables, um, or eliminate all the variables and just turn it on and, and, and test the device, but I'm getting all these other readings, so big shame there. So um, we'll still have a quick look at that, but we're not going to go too deep into the actual numbers. So let's fire it up and we'll, we'll test the light using this fancy meter. Alright, so I've turned the panel on. You may be able to see already that there are a few different colors here. It's not just the standard red and then the uh, infrared one, which is hard to see. Uh, it looks like there's a bit of a yellower orange tinge as well. So anyway, I've got my spectrometer here. You probably won't be able to see this, so I'll turn the panel off afterward, after I take a reading, and then we'll look at the data. It's meant to be about six inches away. Uh, I've done this so many times now, so i got a pretty good idea of where six inches is. It's not going to be perfect though. Alright, and it's taken a reading, it's taken a while. Let's do that again. Alright, so I turned that off so we can see the screen now. As you can see, uh, the bottom line here, peak nanometer is 660. So, like I said, there's a lot of power coming in through the 660 nanometer range. Um, and then we scroll over here, and we can see the other, oh, sorry, I should look at the camera screen. And then we can scroll over here and we can see the other peak at about 847, 850. So like I said, you've still got the 850 and the 660, which are the, the two sort of gold standard numbers. Alright, but then over here you see another reasonably high peak, and that's at the 830 range. And then it's quite wide down the bottom here. So we're coming all the way down to about 780. It starts coming up. And then it starts dropping at around 870. So you've got a massive uh, amount of near infrared in there, which is really, really cool. Um, and then the 660 is a pretty standard peak. I should mention, though, that um, 
this was changing like every second or two, which is why I don't know how reliable this is going to be. Um, I thought it would just show me one clear reading, but it doesn't seem to be doing that, which is very frustrating. And see, the other thing up here is this EE number. That's the radiance. 450. Um, I was quite, you know, I was probably within four or five inches of um, taking this reading at some point. But that's like four times higher than what the manufacturer's claiming at six inches. So it just, it's just way too high. And which is why I'm kind of like, I don't know, this device is a bit of a letdown. Anyway, so what's the takeaway from that? One, it still has 660 and 850 nanometer light, which is the two, like I said, gold standard, the most researched, most popular uh, wavelengths to be used in these red light therapy devices, which is great. Um, but also it's using some other wavelengths as well. Uh, even though I couldn't get 100% reading using this device, we do know it, there's a lot more like near infrared um, light coming out of this device than your typical 660 and 850 nanometer light, such as uh, the Juve. So is this a good thing or a bad thing? To be honest, it's a tricky, <laughs> tricky question to answer because there's so there, there's so much science in the red light therapy space, but there's also a lot we don't know. Okay, so you can take a look at some of the papers out there, and you find that you know 780 is useful for a certain disease or healing a certain um, injury, for instance. But then you can find the same thing showing like 580 or 660. Or it's crazy. There's so much out there. Uh, but then you have so many variables at play, like maybe the sample size was really small. Um, the dosage time, was it a high dose protocol? Was it a concentrated light source? You know, for instance, a laser. Or was it a full body therapy, therapy device? Uh, it's, it's so messy out there. And, it, and in all honesty, I think it's going to be another 5, 10 years before we really truly know, all right, this is the best. This is not worth worrying about. However, we do know that 660 and 850 work, all right? And there's no reason why these other wavelengths don't work as well. I do know that I've personally experienced amazing things from using red light therapy, and that was only using 660 and 850. And I'm still experiencing those things using this device. Um, could there be other benefits as well? Sure. Have I noticed them? Not really, but I don't really have anything to notice. It's not like I use this and then all of a sudden I had an eight that disappeared because I don't have an eight. So that's why it's so tricky to answer it. But the guys from Platinum LED have come up with this because they think it's the best, uh, the best wavelengths to use given the current science, the current knowledge. So anyway, it's something to look into. I'm not going to say it's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it is good that doing something a little bit different. However, they're still sticking close to those 660 and 850 numbers. As for the power irradiance, like I said, I can't trust that 4 500 reading on my device. I'm going to stick with the manufacturer's claims of 129 milliwatts per centimeter squared, and that's at a six inch mark, which is very, very high, which is great. All right, next up, we're gonna look at the EMF le levels. This is something I can trust, um, I can rely on with this device. I got a Cornet Smart Meter, uh, Smart Meter, it's the last thing I want, a Cornet Electrosmog Meter here. Um, this tests electric field, magnetic field, uh, and your microwaves, all right. I've tested this already uh, on my own, and everything is rock bottom, like rock bottom. I, I almost couldn't believe it. Um, it's crazy because no other device has done that, but I'll quickly do a test now and then show you the numbers we're getting. All right, so first up, I'm going to test the microwave fields, which is what you get from like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and, and um, smart meters. So I'll turn it on, and I should say that there's absolutely no Wi-Fi or anything going on at the house right now, so the readings are rock bottom. Anyway, okay, so we make sure we've got the right side, hold it about six inches out. And the number hasn't even changed. I'll hold that so you can see. So I hope you can see that now. That was the figure when I pressed hold when the device was going. You can see on the right there, this is a safety level and we're rock bottom in the green. Uh, you can see there's number 0. 0.0006. To put that in perspective, if I turn on like my cell phone and have this next to it, it'll be like 15, 50 even, like point. So like that's thousands, hundreds of thousands of times higher than what I was getting there. Pretty much there's nothing coming out. You can also see in that bottom right corner there, that graph, those are the readings over time. So there was no spike at all, even when I turned it on. Let's check the other two. All right, so now I'm testing the low frequency field. This is the more damaging one um, from a distance. All right, so 
there is a little bit of an uptick here but we are still very very low and what I'm going to do is hold this so you can see so 0.11 uh, and you can see the graph on the side how it was very very low f f for that period as well and that was in the green though it did flick up to the yellow at one point so again very safe uh, that's at about five six inches I'm not being very precise with it but that compared to some other panels I've tested this is extremely low other panels have gone straight up to the yellow so given you might be standing there for like 10 20 30 minutes a day um, this is a very important number because if that was a high figure you're putting a lot of stress on the body and I can show you when I turn that off it drops down to 0 0.03 with nothing going so um, what do we get up to like 0.11 I mean it's nothing if I went and put this next to a power point or like a computer screen it would it would spike up to like 510 or some crazy numbers even overload all right let's test the final one which is electric field okay I held that number there and again rock bottom you can see the graph on the side hasn't even shown any data and that's in the green uh, I'll turn this off to show what it's like without it on so we're at, we're, we're at 12 and then now we're up to 6 well it's dropped a little bit but still this is very very low so that's testing the performance of the panel uh, what else do we want to cover let's cover what's included so here I've got everything that came with the Biomax 600 we have a pulley system to hang this panel from the door or the wall you can put a nail in or screw uh, and you can adjust the height which is actually really good because if you've got like a startup high or um, you've only got one place to hang it from and it's too low or too high you can use this to adjust it it's pretty heavy duty I haven't even used this one because uh, I haven't needed to but it's a very heavy duty system because some of these other ones I've used from other companies I won't mention names are quite flimsy and I'm like oh, it's a lot of money hanging from that system um, we've got a door hanging hook though it's the same issue I had with the Juve ones it's very narrow uh, maybe it's a New Zealand thing but all the doors here are much thicker than this so I can't fit it over any doors which is a shame uh, you have some goggles for eye protection again this is something I still don't know what the deal is like if it's safe to look at it or not um, but they give you these goggles which is great and then these two cables are for the modular system so if you get another panel um, you connect this one in for information transfer and this one for the power but anyway that that came with it and then there was of course the power cable uh, which is plugged in to the device this one all right so that's everything you need to know about the power performance uh, what it comes with and how it looks one last thing I should mention is the inbuilt timer here which is pretty cool so I'll turn this on and it will kick it, it will turn on, the screen will flick on, little logo, and then here you can change the timing and whether you want red light, infrared light, or both running. The timing function is between 1 and 20 minutes, you can't go beyond 20, which is sometimes annoying. Um, I don't know why they limited it to 20. And then down here you can alternate between red light, infrared light, or both. To start it, you just simply hit OK, and it will show which which lights are working here so obviously both are going as for installation it was very easy up the top here with some screws it came with these steel cables I simply screwed the steel cables onto the screws and then hung it on a hook simple as that uh, again you could use the pulley system you could use the door hang, uh, hanging system if it fits on your door or you can just lean it up against the wall because it does have these thick rubber feet which one little side note I should mention here see how it sticks out a little bit it doesn't fit flush because this is too wide I don't think it matters too much but maybe it's just a bit of a design overthought um, anyway so that's ease of use installation what about the admin side of things the cost, shipping, warranty, all that so the price for this particular product, the Biomax 600, was 
However, if you if you use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, you'll save 5%. So that does bring it down to about 850, which is very, very competitive, especially given this is the new Gen 2 version with all the improved metrics inside the low EMF and the more advanced LEDs. In comparison to that, you can get the original first gen product, which is the same size, the Bio 600, and that is $700. Again, you can use a discount code and save on that as well. However, I think you're better off spending a little bit extra money getting the advanced internals and uh, improved power. Plus, this is the modular design. So if budget is tight, you can get one now, and then maybe next year you get another one and stack them together or clip them on on the side, which is very, very cool. Uh, and I think that's going to be a great selling point for these devices. What else do you need to know? Warranty, three-year warranty, which I believe is the best in the in the space for, this, uh, for red light therapy. I know other companies do one, maybe two years. These guys are doing three, which is great. Another thing you should know about this company is that I've been in the LED business for eight years now, eight years now, maybe even nine. So Platinum LED started off as a grow light company. They've done a lot of research. They know everything there is to about everything there is to know about LEDs. They even have their own warehouse and um, uh, factory in China, like producing all the parts just for them using their strict guidelines, which is something they, they're very proud of. And even when I was looking at buying these devices, you know, it's something they keep bringing up saying they're not just a knockoff company. Uh, they've been around for many years. They know their stuff. They've got the supply chain. They've got the warranties. They've got the support all in place, which is a good, good uh, feature because the red light therapy space is growing very fast and there are a lot of companies popping up and sometimes you don't really know much about these companies you're working with. Support is great. Uh, their blog is awesome. They've got some great information over there. They also have an app, to be honest. I'm not too much of a fan of the app. It's, it's just a glorified sort of calculator and, and timer and it doesn't even work that well, though it, it, hopefully it does improve with time. The idea behind the app is you can get treatment um, recommendations based on different issues and it'll tell you how far away you should stand and everything like that. Shipping, shipping's free in the US and there are some pretty good rates for international shipping as well, which is great. So I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about today with the Platinum LED Biomax 600 series panel. Overall, I do like this panel. I think it is perhaps the best panel. No, actually, it's not the best panel. The best panel you could get would be the bigger brother to this, the Biomax 900, simply because it's slightly bigger. And from a price point of view, you're not spending, you're not spending a huge amount extra to get the bigger panel. And the benefits you're going to get are a lot, lot. Uh, well, I guess the benefits you're going to get from the bigger panel are worth that extra expense, simply because you're going to get a larger treatment area. So when you're face on, you're getting the whole body coverage. This you may not get shoulder to shoulder, especially if you're quite a broad person. You may only get like more of the core in the middle, which is not a bad thing, but hey, if you've got a couple hundred dollars extra and you're already looking at an eight, nine hundred dollar pot product, why not just spend the twelve hundred or whatever it is for the for the Biomax nine hundred and get something that's gonna last and cover everything. So sizing all uh, aside, I think this particular product in their panel range, the Biomax panel range, I think is very, very cool. The EMF issues, non-existent, high power, um, the wavelength 660, 850 plus, they're doing a little bit extra in the near infrared there, very, very cool. The built-in timer, no fancy gizmos or gadgets like EMF, oh, sorry, like the built-in Bluetooth or, or Wi-Fi. To be honest, I don't think you need them and they're just bringing in extra EMF exposure, which is something that most people don't need, or no one needs, but most people don't even need from a function point of view. Um, and then it's got the modular, de modular design. So overall, very impressed. I have tested a lot of red light panels. I've still got a lot to test. In fact, uh, I've literally got three sitting there in a box that I haven't even opened yet. I hope to test them in the coming weeks, uh, maybe months, because it takes a lot of time for me to learn what there is to know about these panels. But so far, this is my go-to panel. Uh, if you are looking for one panel to buy or multiple panels to buy for the modular setup, I would recommend the Platinum LED panels. There's nothing extremely bad about these panels. Price point, they're good. Great service, great warranty, great technology. Yeah, there's really nothing to fault them on. So again, if you have any questions, Ask me below. If you want to purchase this panel, head over to platinumled.com. If you want to save a few dollars, 
into discount code LX, A-L-E-X. Yes, I do get a commission for that, but you save as well, so it's a win-win. Uh, I'll leave it there. If you want to know more, head over to alexfergus.com, and I hope you enjoyed this video.